Hey guys, it's Diamond Ore here, and I just wanted to say some things. As you just saw, I went in a world called Redstone World. This is my new project, or whatever you want to call it, that I've been doing. It's basically just loads of redstone experiments. Um, here's the flashing lights that you saw in the video I made. Um, You've probably noticed that I've made lots of videos. Oh, this isn't working. I think it's because I've broken some stuff to show you guys. Um, well, you probably noticed that I've been uploading uh, a few redstone videos. Uh, I don't know if you like it or not, but uh, just give me some feedback on it uh, so I can work with you guys because uh, I like to know if you like these kind of videos or not. But. Uh, Anyways, oh, it's flashing again, yay. Um, I'm going to make be making some videos with redstone because I've never really played with redstone much. I've just kind of thought, okay, it's redstone. It's just another feature of Minecraft. So, um, But now I've started to play a bit with redstone, and that isn't coming for some reason. Let me just check that out. Um, yeah, so I've just been playing with some redstone, and it's actually pretty interesting. There's like so many things you can do with it. For example, this huge circuit thing I've got here. It shouldn't actually be this big. I can probably make it a lot smaller, but it was my first time, so hey. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm, I've got a few questions saying like, uh, how did I make this huge land here flat? Because if I were to dig that out, that would have taken me a few months, I think, of like endless digging. Um, and also, I've got this perfect inventory for making redstone and stuff. Uh, I think I might need... Ne <laughs> uh, I think I might need to make a chest to store some of this stuff, because my inventory gets quite full. Um, and I used InvEdit to get it. I will make a tutorial on how I used it in a minute. And to flatten this land, I used something called MC Edit. At first, when I used it, I thought, I don't like this stuff, it's terrible, it's hard to use. But then, um, I kind of got used to it, and now I know how to use it, so I'm going to give you guys a little tutorial on how to use it. It's very simple. So, um, thanks for watching, and in a few seconds, you will be seeing the tutorials. So, goodbye from Minecraft, and hello tutorials. Hello, guys, and welcome to MC Edit Tutorial. Uh, so here you are at the start, MC Edit Alpha 82. That's the version you want, or I think any other version works, but this is what I use. So open a level. This is the best way to do it. So then you go into your saves, you just click that. Uh, then you choose from here. I'm going to choose New World uh, Minus. Then you double click level.dat, and then you are, you're spawned here. So it's kind of awkward to move around, so if you right click, there you can move. So first we want to use the Minecraft keys, WAST. Um, now we can move around and you can press spacebar to uh, slow it down if you hold it down and then you can go really fast. Um, so let's uh, start off by getting a flat area. Uh, you can use the scroll to get the box closer to you. So I'm going to start from here. Left click and hold it. Then uh, just aim the direction you want to go in. I think over here. Yes, yeah, so now just let go again. And there you go. So now you've got this big box selected. You then right click. So you've got your mouse. And then you go to fill and replace. So you go there. And then you choose air. Then click OK. Now this may take a few seconds once you pressed fill at the left. Replacing 0 0.6 million blocks. So takes a few seconds. Um, so yeah, that, it's pretty much it really. Once that's done, we just gotta save it. And I will show you how to save it once it's done. So here we go. There's a huge space now. Uh, unfortunately there is water here, but that probably won't happen with you. You can just go select a different area like over here, it's a big forest. Um, you then still have your mouse, you press control, then you click on save. Then it will say lighting 80 chunks or however many chunks you've selected. 
then it's going to say not responding but just don't click the screen because then it's going to send an error report just just hang in there it's because your computer's doing a lot of work to it uh, I don't even know if you can still hear me you might not be able to okay so it's saved now you can just exit this and go to your world we will be going back to the world any second now see you in a second Okay, we are back in Minecraft. Oh, that was an awkward sound. <laughs> oh, what a way to enter. So here you can see is a freaking huge area, which we did in MC Edit. Uh, so now you have all of this area to play with. You may even find mines and iron and pools and stuff. Look, here's a little mine. Well, it's like a spring whatever you want to call it. So yeah, you can make it as big as you want simply by left clicking and dragging. Uh, so hope that helped. We will now move on how to use uh, invedit to get all the redstone stuff. So see you then guys. Hello guys and welcome to my desktop. This is kind of weird not playing Minecraft and talking to you. Uh, right, so let's get to Invedit. Select your Minecraft folder or wherever you placed Invedit. Uh, open that up, go to invedit.exe, double click it as usual. So here we are. Uh, we can't make it full screen unfortunately. So here you are. Um, open this folder thing and select the world you want. I want new world forward slash. And it has no items in it. So you then basically choose whatever you want. All of these icons here have different kind of items inside them. Like this minecart has minecart stuff. This diamond ore has the ores and stuff like that. And here's the redstone. This is what I used, this redstone tab. So we just simply click it and drag it in there. We only have one. So we go to the count and uh, choose how much we want there. So I want 64 and now I have 64. If I want an infinite amount it only works one time I think like the first time you open the world you'll have an infinite amount and then the second amount you'll have like a hundred or something so to get that just type in 300 and then it will give a red 255 that should give you an infinite amount for the first time you open your world uh, so that's basically it uh, however many items or anything you want to put in there there's a load more stuff you can do with it, like say you've got a pickaxe here uh, count, you can have like 21 pickaxes in one hand so they like never run out, and damage, you can if it's damaged you can set it back to zero you also got armor there's chainmail armor, I've never seen that before but uh, you can get it apparently so once you've done all of that you just click on the down arrow next to the save and save to whichever world you want to save to. So we want to save to the one we opened, which is new world hyphen. You click that, and then it's done. So um, thanks for looking at my desktop and seeing all the things I have. Um, see you in Minecraft again. How do I stop this? Oh, F10, right, <laughs> I knew that. Hello guys, and welcome to Minecraft again. Um, as you can see there is a redstone around here because I just wanted to test it out to see if it worked before I recorded and it did so I did have 64 redstone uh, it's just kinda all over the floor um, so yeah look we have our redstone here and our 21 pickaxes if we wanna mine a freaking mountain <laughs> so yeah it worked thanks for watching hope to help um, see you on my next videos guys Peace out.